talking about bending stress in airframes. The syllabus refers to bending stress in airframes, investigate the nature and effect of bending stresses, applying appropriate mathematical methods. Maths for engineering studies is point loads only when we're talking about bending stresses. That was back in civil you did that. It asks us, the syllabus in civil asks us to describe the effects of a uniformly distributed load, UDL, uniformly distributed load, on a simple beam without calculations, that means without. Let's have a look at what's happening in an aircraft. First up, stresses, they're not bending stresses, but they are stresses particular to aircraft. At when the aircraft's parked on the tarmac with the door open, the pressure inside equals the pressure outside. So that's at 101.3, 101.3, assuming it's at sea level, kilopascals. When we go up to 30,000 feet, 10 kilometres up in the sky, the door's obviously closed. The pressure outside was 30 kilopascals. The pressure inside is around about 80, 70 to 80, so you can breathe. There is a massive stress that's blowing that out like a balloon. They're called hoop stresses, because if you look at the plane in 3D, it's like a series of hoops. So, hoop stress fringing on the edge of the syllabus. That is one bending stress, but that's more um, creating a tensile stress in the skin. Similarly, if you look at the aircraft from nose to tail, because that's pressurised, we've got the hoop stresses going that way, there's something got to stop the front and the back of the tail from popping off. They've got a bulkhead, like a dome-shaped head at the front of the aircraft, a dome-shaped head at the back, I'm trying to draw a dome in 3D. That's there to physically contain the pressure at the end of the aircraft. Same thing if the pressure inside's there, 70 kilopascals, the pressure outside is 30. That's also pushing it out that way. So there's a pressure physically um, lengthening the plane as well. In flight, the plane lengthens due to the pressure acting on the bulkheads. And there, of course, if you've got the pressure difference acting on a circle, on this side it's 70, on the reverse side, it's 30, you can calculate the difference in pressure across that as 40. You've got the area, you can calculate the force that's extending the skin of the aircraft. 